So the big news today is that Instagram is decommitting from social commerce. Uh, it's going to focus more on its ad business, which is its core thing, and that probably makes sense. To some extent, this is a little bit like Groundhog Day. We've seen this movie before. You know, if you look back in 2011, uh, you could buy on Facebook, then the feature was Sunset. Back in 2014, then Twitter and Facebook launched buy buttons, only to sunset them later. 2019, Facebook and Instagram uh, relaunched uh, social commerce features again. Instagram, Instagram launching with an A-list of 26 brands, including Adidas, Burberry, Dior, H&M, Kylie Cosmetics, Prada, and more. And a quarter of those brands no longer use social checkout on Instagram. So maybe this was inevitable. It's one of those things that quite often you find that the grass always looks greener in somebody else's business. And commerce, you know, the bit that you can see, the, the product catalog and adding to cart and things like that, looks simple, right? But the reality is the complexity is not there. It's the messy bit of e-commerce behind the scenes. It's all the order management, the warehouse management, the, uh, the fulfillment, the returns, the customer service that then go to actually make that a great experience where people are then going to want to come back and shop again and again and again. So what really went, went wrong here? Well, it is definitely poor experience. That's the place to start because the shopping experience on social, if you try and check out on a social platform today, is generally poor. You can conclude that this is really about promotions, inventory, and returns. And if you translate that, you know, it's all about synchronization between the, the social platform and what happens in the e-commerce platform. There's a lack of synchronization in particular. And from a customer point of view, what that means is customers potentially pay more for products that might not be available uh, that you can't return easily. And net net is, you know, 75% of online shoppers or thereabouts prefer to buy on the brand site and don't want to check out on social. So it's very clear consumers are voting. But the other thing is, of course, is that brands prefer actually to have consumers check out on the brand site. They want to control the experience, shopping the brand and trust and authenticity. And it's all about the experience, making shopping pleasurable. Um, but they also want to own the data. And if, if customers check out on the social site, then they don't own the data and don't have consent to market. And that's critically important because brands also want to drive repeat sales. Profitability comes from repeat sales. $29 is what it costs brands every time they acquire a new customer. If they're acquiring customers on a social platform, not on the brand site, then ultimately they're losing $29 every time they, every time they get that sale. And then the next time the same customer comes along and buys on Instagram, they lose $29 again. It kind of make, doesn't make economic sense long term. So not only is it about not wanting to maintain two sites, but it's much more fundamentally about uh, owning the customer relationship. But perhaps the biggest issue really is that many social uh, networks don't really understand how customers purchase. And many customers, um, or in fact the vast majority of purchases, are not impulse purchases. And of course, shopping in the stream of social is really about income, ooh, click, buy, right? Well, that happens very rarely. If you look at all of the purchases that happen, then less than about 10%, something like that, are actually are impulse purchases or purchases within the same session. Maybe that's, maybe that's even broader than an impulse purchase. And the vast majority require multiple sessions or multiple touches over time before they're then ready to buy. So this was maybe an inevitable pivot. So we have to ask the question, is, does that mean that social commerce is dead? And the answer is, hell no, absolutely not. Social commerce is not dead. Social commerce is a, or social is a great place to discover new products. Half of online consumers, online shoppers, actually think that social is a great place to discover products, not least of which because they've got influencers and all sorts of other things going on. It's also where they spend time. So really the answer is to use social as the place where customers can discover your brand and discover products and then direct traffic to the brand site. It's much easier to maintain and it's also how customers want to shop.